people, we have made it here in Sandakan. So along our journey, when we started traveling across Malaysia, we met so many people that said the same thing. If I got a ring, if every time someone said this to us, we'll probably have a free night stay in a hotel somewhere. They said, you need to go to Sabah. Yesterday we arrived into Sandakan, our first stop here in Sabah and we've got so many things that we want to do out here and we're really really excited to check this place out. There's dive spots, there's snorkeling location, there's boat tours, there's the city of Sandakan, Kota Kinabalu and just all these other places we're really excited to check. But Today guys we are just going to check out the town centre, have a little meet around, just get a vibe for the place. So come and join us while we walk around this town. Funny story, me and her family here back in 2019, we were actually at this McDonald's right behind me. You might see it in our previous vlogs. This time around we're really excited to explore the whole area properly. Wow this is cool isn't it? Like you've got all these little trucks here with food. Should we have a little nose in and see what it's all about? Well, we just had lunch, but there's always room for a little snacky snack, right? Snacky snack, and this looks nice, the hard deck. Oh. The Elapora, it looks like a nice little place that people come to chill. I had a pizza for lunch, I was not there. Yeah, and, and I, I had went a... to the gym because he's a good lad like that. Yeah, <laughs> to be fair, the food here in Malaysia is so delicious, so good, and I've been eating really, really well here. The weight is piling on a bit, so gym is really important when you're on the road. Ooh, this looks pretty sick as well doesn't it these are uh, oil barrels wow that is proper cool man if i was to close my eyes and with that music in the background feel like i'm in some spanish islands right now with this view look at that so the drinks have arrived haven't they yeah man look I, at that what is this guys it reminds me of a thai latte but i know it's gonna be a tea carrot and i'm so excited for it Oh, yeah. Refreshing and cool, isn't it? Oh, I can confirm. There's no sugar in it, but there's condensed milk, which gives it a lot of sugar. So, hey ho, here's me being healthy. Down the pan, mate. We're gonna enjoy these teas. Zakaria's like, gonna try and get some sleep. <laughs> Seven ringgit for two big drinks. Not too shabby, that. Bargain bucket. Bargain bucket. Back on to the adventure around Sandakan. And it continues, people. Yogi I'm just having a little look, a little look around <laughs> what there is, you know, it's a new area, exploring it and see what there is. It's quite interesting actually. Looks like over there we've got the port and there's a few people walking around. There's loads of restaurants across the harbour and the sun is going down and it looks absolutely beautiful. Hello. So just at the harbour front, you'll be surprised to see that there is a big, massive, surprise, surprise, shopping mall. It's a very, very big, massive shopping mall I can see. Loads of shops, there's McDonald's, there's a KFC nearby and all these other dessert places but I've got a control my urges because we haven't had dinner yet. One thing we do need is... Nabi! Whoop de doo We found it. There they are. Nappies, we have no more dirty clothes. Hey! 32.20 for those 50 nappies, that's the cheapest so far. So now that we've got the nappies in the bag, we are going to probably get so much to eat now. It's going to be Zakaria sleeping time soon and we have to get dinner a little bit earlier these days. That's what travelling with the baby is all about. So we've heard a restaurant called Halib is meant to be very very good here in Sandakan. So we're going to go check it out now. Are you ready? Let's go. So guys, we made it to our next stop, which is Restaurant Habib. Just trying to figure out what is the best thing to have here. So after a few minutes of a bit of confusion and language barrier situation over here, we are out in the local area of Sandakan, so it's highly expected. We've gone for a murtabak daging, which is a meat-based one. We've gone for a chicken curry and rice, which is nasi ayam. And I'm going to go to the front there and see the chicken that they have over there. Are you excited? Yeah, do you want to explain why we've come so far out? I'll tell you why, guys. Zakaria decided to have his nap and he only falls asleep in the car. He doesn't fall asleep when we're out and about because he's always got his googly eyes on, as my sister would say, because he always wants to see the action. He doesn't want to miss out on it. So we decided to drive to the furthest one <laughs> so that he could have a nap in the car. So it took us 15 minutes to get here, even though we were literally... Five minutes away from one. No, we were like literally 250 feet away from the one in Sandakan town centre. 
but yeah, you've got to do what you've got to do when it comes to having a baby. And he's had his lap now, so he's fully refreshed, aren't you, honey bunny? Yeah. You now. <laughs> <laughs> so let's go and see what this grill place is all about. It looks like there's some, ooh, some chicken. Looks like right in front of this restaurant, Habib over here, we've got a place where you can get some chicken satay um, and some lamb satay. And looks like we've got some uh, chicken wings as well over here. And it looks pretty decent over a hot barbecue cold. So I think I might get a set of these as well. Might get a couple of wings as well. So I've got some chicken satay at the front and I have to say it looks absolutely delicious. I was recording it and I got dangerously close to the coals and I almost burnt my hands. But as he was making the chickens, he kind of sprinkled a teeny bit of oil on top of it, which made it smoke so much. So I'm hoping the chicken's got this really nice smoky flavor, but looks like he had a mixture of chicken, a bit of lamb and he had some chicken wings there as well which he was grilling up and it looks pretty decent and it came with a nice big massive side of that peanut sauce that is infamous here in southeast asia and i've got to say guys this mud the back when i first smelled it it actually reminded me of a pie like a shepherd's pie it's got like onions it's got beef i've already tried it because i was waiting for you to get the chicken so you did the taste test now let's see what it's all about. I've got a nice little piece here. You can see the cabbage and onions. Let's move that. Mmm. Nice, isn't it? And it's like a lighter version of a shepherd pie. It is, yep. <laughs> it definitely is a nice lighter version. Without the cheese, without the potato. It's basically just a thin stretch roti with some onion, some lamb, some cabbage in there, and just fried over the hot plate. And it looks delicious and it is absolutely delicious and even like a few minutes later it's still piping hot. Okay, I'm gonna try the chicken satay taste test now. It wasn't and chili I at all. I just had a quick lick as well. We've all been licking this is sick. <laughs> <laughs> it's got that proper smoky, smoky fiery taste to it. And he's just staring into the oblivion right now. And you know one thing that I've seen a lot here in Malaysia right is this soda kind of can of oh it's called smashing strawberry flavor. Look at that. Yeah, it really nice. Yeah, I've got this kind of idea in my head of what it should taste like and it's one of those overly sweet, strawberry flavoured, artificially type of drinks which you get in Pakistan as well that I've had. It's exactly like that. Is it? Let's give it a try and see what it's like, if it lives up to what I thought it would be. Yep, exactly it's like it. Artificial, I was like, dick. Dick. It is strawberry, artificial, fizzy, cold overly sweet but that's what you get here so we've got this chicken satay to try as well and i think it's a chicken thigh piece that they've used here and it's got this accompanying peanut sauce mm. definitely got that smoky flavor you can tell he when he poured the oil over it that smoke just literally infused in the chicken peanut sauce i have to say is actually one of the better ones it's not sweet in the slightest it's really nice. 10 sticks for 10 ringgit. You can't go wrong. Well guys, what an epic adventure we've had today. We hope you really enjoyed coming along with us on our little adventures in Sandakan. We've got so many more videos coming in the whole Sabah region, but this was just our first impressions. I have to say, thumbs up from me. And me. Food was absolutely delicious. Those satays, that matrabak and the drink was delicious. 18 ringgit in total, hey. not too shabby. Yeah man, Cheap 18 ringgit. So we're so excited to explore more of Sandakan and Sabah. On that note guys, follow your visions and we'll see you on the next one. On the next one. Bye. 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 Bye.